When we face hard situations, when you face difficult situations, that is the time when we need at most balance within ourselves. Medical professionals must be in the best state of mind and body, this is very, very important. Now we are talking about a technology with which we can create a chemistry of blissfulness. I would like to bring in uh, Steve Pratt, who's um, the director of pre-anesthesia testing in our hospital, Beth Israel Dickness Medical Center. Steve Pratt also runs the Massachusetts Peer Review, and uh, Steve, go ahead. Thank you very much uh, for having me. It's a great honor. I've been doing some work over the past 10 years to help clinicians uh, um, recover emotionally after difficult events. COVID is having a remarkable set of emotional impacts on our clinicians, um, almost to the same degree as the medical impacts that it's having on our, on our patients. Um, our, our folks, our, our staff are terrified that they could become sick themselves and die or bring, bring the disease home to their loved ones. There's a sense of guilt, both of those who are working because they feel guilty that their other colleagues are being furloughed or those that were at home, they feel guilty because they're not at the front lines helping. And then, of course, the great sadness as we watch unimaginable amounts of suffering and death, often alone, people dying without their loved ones. As clinicians, we've learned to keep many of those feelings at arm's distance because we have to keep them there in order to continue to work. And I'm actually worried that once we get to the other end of this, that those feelings are going to have to bubble up some way that those feelings that we've kept buried so that we continue to do our job on a day-to-day -day basis will eventually have to come up. And I'm wondering, sir, what, what advice you would give to us as leaders to help our staff to manage, to unwrap those feelings as they start to come up when we give ourselves the opportunity to actually feel them, when we have the moment to pause and say, and realize how emotionally humongous this has been for the last days, weeks, months, or potentially even years. How can we help our staff to bring those feelings back up in a safe way? I very much understand and uh, appreciate the tremendous work that uh, both the doctors and the nursing staff and the allied staff around in the hospitals are doing. It's uh, unfortunate there are, uh, you know, in UK, 44 percent of the medical staff uh, is showing signs of depression. In China, 50 percent they are saying. In Singapore, 40 percent. I don't know what is uh, the thing in United States, I'm sure there are similar numbers. So when half the people who are responsible for, uh, you know, bringing the population out of this pandemic, with limited amount of damage and limited loss of life are going through this, this is… this doesn't bode well either for the medical staff or for the larger population. So it's very important that they are well taken care of as a part of this. From our end, we did uh, whatever we could do. Uh, today, uh, I think uh, a few hundred thousand people are going through this that we offered this inner engineering program free of cost to all medical personnel across the world. A few hundred thousand people have enrolled, but it's important that everybody goes through this. These are seven powerful sessions, all of it allied practices attached, simple things that you invest twelve to fifteen minutes a day and it'll make a big difference. You can make your chemistry blissful, no matter what is the situation we face. When we face hard situations, when you face difficult situations, that is the time when we need at most balance within ourselves. Our intelligence, our competence must work at its best. But if we are distressed or depressed, definitely our competence levels will go down. This will not only affect our lives, unfortunately it may cost some other life. And when it costs some other life because of our incompetence, then uh, there is a cycle of problems that an individual will naturally go through. When we realize that what we have done has uh, gone wrong for somebody else's life, because it's not nice for any human being to put in a position to determine whether somebody should live or die, that should never come. But unfortunately, uh, in the profession that you are, maybe on a daily basis you are facing that situation. 
and particularly now with the pandemic, uh, it is far more because uh, we have still not figured out what is the solution for this. Right now, when the world is facing a situation like this, medical professionals must be in the best state of mind and body. This is very, very important. This is why as a part of this, we are offering this Inner Engineering online for everybody and various other practices which are very simple to do. Please, uh, all of you try and see and put it across to all the doctors and nurses. It will make a huge difference. In UK, many doctors have done this and they are sharing what difference it's made. A simple practice of twelve minutes, how the immune system is up, protecting you. At the same time, it also uh, keeps up your mood levels. It will create a balance, emotional balance and a sense of... Uh, a sense of blissfulness within you. Because as uh, you're all doctors, all of you are very clear on this, human experience has a chemical basis to it. Now we are talking about a technology with which we can create a chemistry of blissfulness. This is most important because only when you are in a pleasant state of experience, this body and this mind functions at its best. And right now all of you functioning at your very best is vital for so many lives. So it's my wish and my blessing that all of you should stay healthy, function at the best of your competence so that many more lives are not taken uh, because we still have not figured out a way with the vi virus. We are only trying to figure out how to dodge it, how to manage it. We don't really have a solution as such. So your work and your emotional balance and your own well-being and the well-being of your families is very vital for the rest of the population also. Please keeping this in mind, keep yourself well.